What are you doing in my room? What? What are you? What are you doing in the? This, no, this is this is my room. That's why I'm in here. Actually, I, I know who you are. I recognize you. You're that Deadpool guy, yeah? yeah? Hey, you look familiar too, aren't you? Aren't you that wrestler? What are you? What are you doing here? I'm here to play Tekken at Evo. Tekken at Evo. Yeah. What? Why do you have so many masks on? Don't worry about it. You know what? You know what? You gotta get out of my room. There's no reason for you to be in here. I'm sorry. This is this is my room. You need to get out of my room. No, no, sir. I had my Tekken set up. You're playing on my stick. There's clearly a problem here. I was in there for like five hours. What are you doing? I'm I'm sorry. Okay, a wrestler playing Tekken. Okay, Tekken's a real fighting game. Okay, Tekken's real. Okay, unlike wrestling, <laughs> fake. Wow. Yeah, sir. I didn't know that you were actually Deadpool. Oh. Yeah, let it sink in. Oh. No chimichangas for you. You know what? We should settle this. Settle what? This is my room. You gotta get out. No, no, no. We're we're settling this in at WrestleMania. No, no. WrestleMania is in like April. I'm here for like two days. You wanna find out who gets the room? We gotta figure out a way to settle this. Oh, um. Bar fights. Bar fights. Bar fights. Bar fights. Barty, get out of my room. I'm not getting out. I'm going to get back in there and finish what I started. You do that. <sighs> they, they, they don't, these doors don't, don't oh. really slam. Could you? My, my bad, dude. Don't Thank, thanks. Around. Appreciate it. Here you go. All right. Bar fights. Bar fights. Bar fights. <sighs>7 in Tekken 7 for the very first Oh sorry Who knows Tekken Flo what should it be for the very first celebrity First of five. First of five. Mr. Vaya has spoken. First, first of five. five. Very first celebrity FGC championship. Austin Creed versus D. Pity. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Z so, and Flo, take it away. So, we're here. It's time. This was a rivalry we didn't ask for, but the first the the celebrity death match, first of five. Sure. And why did you think that a first of five was the perfect length to determine the strongest celebrity in the internets? Because seven is way too long. But it's Tekken 7. It would have been fitting. It would have, but... You know, we want to finish in 2017. Okay. So. Okay. Anyways, we got we got a real match here. You know, who do you like in this match? You know. Mmm. Mmm. I, I know D Pity has been practicing. Yes. But Austin Creed also, dude, look at his custom controller. You know. That it's is very crazy. Blue. It's very blue. If you have that much dedication and you're going to put that much resources into a sick-ass controller, you have already committed your soul to a delicious game. He's ready for this. You know, he's definitely prepared. It actually matches. Look at the, yo, check out hat. that, that controller is wild. Close up. That's my gaming channel. 
and the, ga the gaming yes. channel up, up, up down, down, down. Always. That's the best YouTube uh, gaming channel out there. Go the check best. it out. The absolute best. 100%. It's my homepage. I yeah. did see Austin today at the Bandai Namco booth. Yeah? Not only playing Tekken, which he's very prepared for right. today, but he's also playing Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters. He has a picture with the uh, producer. That's interesting. That is the brightest timeline. And she was so happy to have seen him. But here's a more important question. Okay. Was he seen playing Marvel Infinite? Well, the, the celebrities ha are very busy and They're cannot busy. simply go to every booth in Evo. So yeah. they had to pick and choose. So you're saying he picked? And choose, chosen. Look, Dragon Ball. it's 2000. I'm just trying to find the facts here, Z. Okay, that's what I'm here for. I don't know. I was at the Capcom panel, so I didn't see any of this. You were at the Capcom yes. panel. Yes. The Capcom panel. Yes. I couldn't even get in. Really? It was so full. That's great. They locked the doors. It was, uh, like, wasn't Maximilian hosting it? Like, it was Something packed like to the door. I couldn't even That's get in. That's crazy. That's actually nuts. Those are the biggest squid eyeglasses I've seen. Yeah, right? All right, so we know that pad has the advantage in Street Fighter V, but in Tekken, does the pad player have advantage over stick? You know, sometimes. If it's America, I would say probably. Yeah. He two rounds, rounds off, of off of me, a that, Korean player, you know a godlike player. That is my Tekken hero. This is why I'm not on your side. Because of things like this. Why are you beating my Tekken hero? Did you see that handshake between me and uh, JDCR? I did. I did. JCDR? You know, and what I did in I cried. I didn't know the backstory. I Googled the backstory and read it for like 20 minutes. You Googled it. I Googled it. It was so good. It was so worth it. Now, how much is fact and how much is fiction? Like, there's so many rumors as to why there is even fiction. This is true. All right, but if you can take two rounds off of me, like the the wave dash god, you're probably going to be a, a expert Tekken player a in your own right. Formidable opponent. Definitely. For sure. In fact, just hearing that, I give the advantage to Austin. Yeah, and the controller. The controller. That's like. It's a big deal. Yes. So is it? Is it really in Tekken? It's the custom control. I feel like he came prepared. You know? I feel like D-Penny just borrowed that yeah. from some of the crap. All right, here we go. King versus Link. Interesting. Oh, D-Penny knows what he's doing. Uh-oh. Wait, D-Penny's Deep serious? What oh, is going no. on? I didn't know it was like this. Oh, this might be an issue. No, no break. That might be the answer here. Might what? Be a lot of yeah, this is a wrestler playing a wrestling character. Of course, Austin would pick King. But the, but the one disadvantage is that there are no bullet club. Uh, there's only bullet club T-shirts in Tekken. There is no New I Day T-shirts. I feel like D Finney should have psyched him out by yeah. picking the bullet club shirt. I think that would have been good preparation. Good sidestep. Oh, that would have been sick too. Yes. It, Wow, real combo. That was pretty good. Good? What? This is like, okay. Dude, that's 100% right No, oh, that was the go-to. No follow-up. Suplex. The throws are definitely going to be deep in definitely. the position. All right, no, no throw breaks. I believe it's a two throw break. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, tackle. Fun, fun, fun. Crush the melon. Uh oh. Oh, the and the reenactment. The 26-inch pythons. Octopus kick. Wow, taking one combo. Mix up the real. Oh, okay, gets the throw extension. Ah, the launcher, the rolling launcher, another one. That was probably wasn't the best combo in the corner. Oh, the flip over, change of sides. That is 100%. 100%. I'm pretty sure if you're uh, drunk or have taken Wondry, it's probably difficult to, to walk that low. AoE, another one. Oh, and changes the corner. Wow. Hi, hi. Okay, does it get the follow up this time? Yes, it does. But no corner carry. So much jumping in this. Ah, uh, doesn't go one, two, throw, misses. Ducks, nice by Deep Pity. Knows the strings. If you can do a rolling cradle 
the Death, Death Cradle. Cradle. Yeah, in after a drink or two here at Bar Fights, you are a god. Tries to get the back throw, fails. The whole time, Xiao Yu has the back. Okay. Quick rises. Wow! Snatch the baby out of the air. Oh my goodness. Commentators. That's his go-to. That's his go-to. Right? And the stand-up off. What are you standing up for? Stay humble. Stay humble. Splatoon versus real Tekken. I would have liked to see a Tekken cosplay from D Pity. Yes. It's not doing him any favors here. But that godlike kicks Tokyo shirt. They both have awesome shirts. The filthy casual versus the schoolgirl. Round one. Right. Yes, yeah, Xiaoyu should have the schoolgirl uniform, but she's going with the Chinese dress. Oh! Plants her to the ground. Oh, good launcher. Another one? Okay, this is the full combo extension. Ooh, nice break. Close line misses. That's going to take it. Round two. How is he playing in those giant glasses? He must be seeing it through tin. Okay, good overhead. Still unable to break that throw is P Pity. Goes for the ankles again. Looks like he's got a set play. Mmm. <laughs> Kick her in the butt. This is reminiscent of, uh, yeah, they're not. Okay, got the back, nothing. I, I think that D-Pity should be abusing the, the AOE more and See, doing the low profile. That move is just everything. Right, it ducks everything. Nice. Oh, try to go for the kick parry. Mm. Oh, I love that. Round four. No follow up. Oh, the Wild Rising 2 connects and held it for the launcher. Hop kick. Knee misses. Ooh, none of that for you. Trying to play dead like a possum, eats it. Yeah, no throw has really been broken. Okay. Is that a critical art? Yeah, it's not going to kill. Aye. Oh, they're already switching scenes. No, but still. Alive. Aye. 100%. All right. Austin has seen the uh, sidestep low, sidestep three, like a bunch of times. What does he need to do to finally block it? It's been 100% for him. He needs to guess block. Guess block? I, I think it's coming down to guess block. Okay. Because it's, it's not a point where reactions are going to work. This it's isn't, I know that move is uh, difficult to belong online, but this is offline. Yes, this is offline. But with drinks, it's basically offline. That's the thing. Yeah, it all depends how many drinks you've had in the night. Yes. No. Oh. Good flower punish. Oh, wow, just inviting for the roll. Okay, a three piece. Kicks connect. No follow-up combo on that. Handsprings galore! Hi, I love that combo. Oh, uh, I don't think the button was pressed. Hi. Round two. Fight. I think it, Austin uh, looked at Flo and was trying to explain why. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to help you out, man. I'm here. I'm on your side. You know. I have not picked sides. I am innocent. See, look at this. Okay, I now. Gave him a pep yeah, talk. that was Shining see, Wizard. See, see, I think we should abuse more of the Shining Wizard. Fight. The throws have been High launcher. And the lows have been 100% defense. No one's blocking anything tonight. That's how you know it's a salty sweep. If you're sober, you're doing it wrong. Okay. Mm. 
Gets the extender. That was a full one. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't really punish that. Goes to the dive. Oh, while rising to launch Punisher. Perfect. Uh huh. I think you might need to go up there and coach. It's looking pretty bleak for Austin right now. Down 2 0. I need to see somewhere giant swing or, or something here. Ah, okay. Good up 3 4. No follow up there. Rising four. Oh, that's the first time it's been dodged, yeah. kind of. I don't know if that counts. Oh, they're trading hits. You can duck those. To the wall. Ooh, you can hurt the bone crunch. Hi. Looks like Flo's advice has really paid off. The hop kicks. And now on the board is Austin. Oh, he's feeling himself. The trombones are going to be coming out. Uh, <laughs> I'm available, but never. That's that's the best line ever. That's oh my solid. god. That's solid. Canada Cup is just a, a fantastic story, even from like when it started, when Lapchi uh, really wanted to, you know, showcase the Canada fighting game. Community. In order to do that, he had to, you know, invite the world to it, and that, that was a struggle for all these years, trying to find out who the best in the world was, how to contact them, even reaching out to TOs. So there's a lot of history of Lapchi doing the legwork and the groundwork. I love what Lapchi has done with Canada Cup. He's done so much to build up that tournament, that scene. I remember when it first started. You know, I remember when it was like when he was one of the first people to try to do some interesting stuff with the Twitch, uh, with the subscription, you know, the 895 that became the meme and everything like that. You know, he's had a lot of experiments and everything like that. But I remember during those times, Canada Cup was just kind of like considered one of the quote smaller events and everything like that. But now it's like one of the biggest events that takes place during the course of the year. And, you know, that's through a lot of effort on Lapchi's part, a lot of work, a lot of dedication, and it's turned into something gigantic. I just think um, Lapchi's just done a, a, an amazing job taking the tournament to, uh, you know, to the next level. The Canada Cup means a lot to me because uh, it's the first tournament that I actually went and actually won overseas. It's the first international tournament that I won in 2012. So actually that was one that I remember the most significant and of course I, that was my first time winning an international tournament. So I would say it's pretty pretty much important to me. Lapchi has been a really good friend. Um, he's been a very good mentor so no matter what I always want to support Canada Cup. But besides me and Lapchi's personal relationship, the thing I like about Canada Cup the most is how awesome the Canadian community is. I really love the, the Canadian community, especially from Toronto, because they're so hype, they get excited, and they just want to get better, like just like anywhere else. And they're very, very, very nice people. And then also, Canada Cup attracts everyone around the world. So because they attract everyone around the world, it makes it a, an amazing place to fight against serious competition. What does Canada Cup mean to me? It means everything because my first Canada Cup is right after I beat Infiltration and I was able to be on the American team. I was able to represent America in the 5v5 alongside Justin Wong. So that meant a lot to me. Um, obviously, Lapchi doesn't matter what he does, anything he puts his hands on, turns to gold. Uh, he throws the sickest after party. If you ever like want to do something different, not just the tournament, you know, go to a Canada Cup event because the after parties are insane. Everybody gets to like just kick it, chill. It's set up there if you want to play. Also, uh, the tournament is always ran 
smoothly. I never have any problems at a Canada Cup event. And last year was just one of the nicest people around. So anybody that's helping to make Canada Cup great, thank you so much for doing what you guys do best. And I will never miss a Canada Cup. Canada Cup is a very special tournament because it was the first tournament where everything kind of turned around for the American FTC. An American finally won a premier event in Street Fighter V after a long drought of you know defeats. So it was very, very cool to see and then that American player ended up winning the whole entire World Finals. What does Canada Cup mean to me? You know, it was, uh, it was a passion because we all at one point in time started off uh, playing something that we really enjoyed all through the, you know, the angriness, the happiness, the bitterness, the, the full enjoyment from playing a game called Street Fighter. And um, whenever someone mentions Canada Cup, it brings up the past, my past, my history, and what, what was one of the happiest times, uh, most carefree times in my childhood. And well, one of the reasons why we put Canada Cup together was the FGC. Everybody in Canada had that time where it was so enjoyable for them to play a video game, especially a game like Street Fighter. From there, we really wanted to put uh, major events in Canada. Of course, we put together a team and um, put together great events from uh, you know, our staff and our directors. It's just the passion of reliving the excitement that was once in your life and we're trying to always do it every single year to make sure everybody has a great time. Just just because there isn't a whole lot of big events back, um, back uh, you know, before Canada Cup. So it, it, it means a lot, yeah. Can I? I'm stealing that. I'm available, but never free. Yeah. That's not a... Round one. Fight. <laughs> All right. Let's see some of those hot picks that were working uh, for him. Ah, uh, one, two, throw. Not gonna really work for it. And oh, tries no to go for the low no throw. No oh. no I. Like, Oh my goodness. Not dead. Oh, a little out of range. Oh no, and got the neck chop. Oh! Round two. The lows have been getting awesome all day. And now we're getting hop kicks from Pity. And. Ooh, what was that? Oh wow, he's just mocking a triple roll. That was disrespectful. That was a California avocado roll, man. Now he's just dancing around. It's because he knows he has that chunk card of that love. Never That's true. He can like be down. Oh, okay. Oh, Play possum. No, I don't know. A little bit off access. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're gonna get some. Is there any follow up? No. That's a pretty difficult command after that, I think. Oh, buddy. Don't. No. Oh, still alive, still alive! Still alive. Oh, ah! Round three. Fight. Oh, try to go for a throw sequence there. Oh, wow, perfect launcher, some deep pity. Oh, the first block! The guest box! The guest box! What's the best punish for that? He finally blocked it. Oh, he's tricking him now. Sidestep into the back paint, oh. into the launcher. We have established a mix-up. <laughs> yeah. That's when it gets scary. When they block low, launch him high. Looks like you're... All right, we got to stay focused. Oh, this, is, this is crazy. It's a wild night here in bar fights, Mandalay Bay and High Candy. Wow. We're here for the first celebrity death match between Austin Creed and Deep Pity. How, what is it to do to that? You block it, she's not that negative, and he then. He was trying to win punch, but he did it a little bit too quick. Oh, and the gut punch. Oh, the next up. 
Yeah, stay low, stay low. It's like a fire drill. Avoid the smoke. Good punish. Uh, always to the low does the pity go. Round two. Fight. The hop oh. kicks now. Yeah, there's the hop kick. Oh, the backflip. The, the ghetto Mark Korean up. back dash. <laughs> Another one. Next up. <laughs> All the lows. Chipping away. All right, X Factor activated. The Rage Arts and the big punish. door kick. Kick in the door, wave in the full full. Got them pussies. I like it. Oh, we even got Oriental music. Wow, he dodged all those throws. Okay, it's now easy. establish. Dunk. Oh. A bit damage. Wow, the Ford flip. Mm. Rising four. Oh, wow. Okay, now he's just getting toyed to it. No combo under, though. He's coming, pull up. Low? He's, you're calling the low out. Oh, oh that's got it, the that's back it, of the back. It. Boom! He is definitely dead. Going that way. Taking out the trash. Fight. Dumb bomb. Uh oh. That low every time. Ooh! Busting open the crates. I'm loving the movement here from PDA. He's responding. Got the knee crunch. Final round. The knee parry. Austin needs this game. Going okay. down forward one. This is, is the swing game. Yeah. Oh, back, back flipping. Got the back hit. Okay. More throws. I want to see more throws. He's got a really good lead right now. He's playing very patient. Got the ankles. Oh, I think Austin may have found a pattern here. He has the wall combo. Coming, the low's coming. I'm telling you the low's coming. As yeah, that's going to be the go-to move. Oh, that's, that's not him. That's oh, hey. Three to two. Solid. A little bit of a pop-off. Just a tad. Pop-off. Tiny pop-off. A little bit. Man, I wish I was Russian and I had the last name Pop-off. Pop-off. Uh, he was in a uh, box MMA? No, 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 no. Like, punch Round out. One. Pop up. Pop 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 something like that. Pop something like that. Suplex. These throws. More throws. If any celebrity rappers or athletes are out there and think that they can take them, please. Apply. <laughs> oh, into the are those giant peanuts? Or winter melon? Oh, you're right. The lows were coming. This is what we want to see last round. It's the Trump right there. KO. They're giant sugar daddies. Round two. Oh my god. All right, we're bringing in real professionals here. Real Tekken professionals. Oh my god, I'm taking like the commentator thing with me. Tasty Steve, what are they doing here? They're playing Tekken. It's a bunch of rookies. A bunch of rookies, if you ask me. Mr. Austin Creed using that king. I don't know if he's going to be able to land this. I hope he's not a far. Yo, where, where, Z, where do they go? Z, Flo, I love both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Leave this to the professionals. <laughs> the professionals. But nice. Gets him with the convict kick. Now pushing towards the wall. Let's see if he's going to get a combo. Ollie oh. kicks. Hey, look at him. He's feeling himself. Mr. Austin Creed, feel that he looked up. Now, you know, Pity, I played this guy online. He is dirty. He knows some tactics. Oh, Calo double California roll. Just Nobody like orders know. two of those. those are, that isn't real sushi. No one ever orders two California yeah, rolls. Never believe it until you taste it. <laughs> right, Tasty Steve? Yes. yes. But anyways, life lead for Deep Pity. Got oh. him with the mid, and that might be it. Oh, wow. The wall saved him. Snap up a cut. One, one, two. And just like that, with the advantage here, do you think Pity's gonna take it? This is King's, one of his hardest matchups. This is definitely one of King's hardest matchups. Who uh, knew the weakness for wrestlers were small Chinese women? <laughs> <laughs> Who it, knew? It happens, man. He likes anime. He's a wee boo. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
another for no reason. You didn't even order that. That came to the wrong table, and you ate. And you're gonna pay I'm for gonna it anyway. I'm gonna take it anyways. What a scumbag! <laughs> it came to the wrong table, and you're gonna eat it any, and you're gonna pay for Did it. Did he just give the one more thing finger? He's like, I the guess gotta beat him one more. I'm not sure about all this, Steve, but man, how are you still awake? I don't know, man. It's been a long, long day here at Evo 2017. Um, bar fight's looking quite lit. It took me quite a while to get in line around the block. Did not recognize who I was. Of course. Lots of love to the team over at Cross Counter. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my boy, Mike Ross, who me. with Tex. I call him the boss man now. The boss man. That's what I, when I re, that's what I refer to when I say the boss man on the recipe. I'm talking about You have a time travel guys. machine. You better be a boss. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know if this was sanctioned, but right now the little Chinese girl going back oh. in on Mr. Austin Creed. Austin Creed. I can tell you right now, we had a little one-on-one -on -one session when we were at CEO. This Why year. did you teach him how to fight? Look! Look at what he's doing. I, look, I can only give him one part of it. But look at that. The pick up, the figure four. Uh, On the, the magic classic. carpet ride. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole new world. Side step three. Into the rage art, and that's going to do a ton of damage here. Now, but the you might here, not be dead. But you might not be dead. You need to focus. He's but dead. you're definitely he's dead. dead. The I apologize. Too much. I misjudged. The, that was a lot of damage. But Damn. anyways, look, not looking good. I mean, Pity now four to two. This is quite the deficit for our young warrior here. And you know, we're both king players. We're so both we are players. a bit biased here, but Austin Creed's definitely gonna have to Oh, the Insiguri! I like it. I just like saying the name Insiguri. That's just a sick ass name. You are definitely a weep, Steve. Hey Damon. How you doing? Yo, 10-0 in the building. Holding oh, up yeah. this VIP bar. And it's not looking good. They're both enraged while, while rising standing. One. Yo. Look, Attack. Austin, you need to do more down forward one. More down forward one. He could have had the conversion there with the shiny whistle combo, but he follows up with the knee. All right, round rising four. Offense, the pity. Taking it to Austin right now. Oh, what a mix up into the suplex. You should be, you should be weary of this. He hasn't broken many throws. Yeah, that could be the key to victory. Oh, while rising one, still drops the combo. This might be it. One more mix-up could do it, but good block there from Austin. Austin Creed's still alive. He is in rage. If he lands this rage art, this could be it. What's but will he have a chance? Ollie kicks. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Is that the right read? He's going to be blocked oh. with the rage art of his own. And that will be that. Austin Creed defeated by one of the deadliest of king foes. He has definitely sealed the deal there. Man, what a set. That was a good set. That, that was a good set. Austin making me proud. The next session, I guarantee you, we're going we're gonna to get you some fighting skills, good sir. Chris Haustatarian representing. I see you, boss man. I see you. Oh, Yo, Steve. The guy. Guilty Gear is next. Guilty Gear? Let's. Can, wait, is, can I say the F word? No. No? We're in Vegas Fish and sticks. I can't fucking say the F word? That's some bullshit, B. It's some bullshit. Hey, boss. Rio the God, the CBS2 God. Man, look at the swag on my brother right here. That is. He's doing well, for sure. Uh, looking good. <laughs> get, you trying to get drinks? Man, There's this no boss drinks guy. This boss guy. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, cross counter bar fights, Evo edition. Tasty Steve Markman on the mic. Oh, yeah. Um, it's past time. your bedtime. It is definitely past my bedtime. I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. But so. I hope, of course, everyone is enjoying Evo. Austin. Oh, we're, we're doing pictures. I tried. You, no, I tried. no, you made me proud. Yeah, they can hear yeah. you. You made me proud. I feel so, like I've been, I've been legit getting in it for like three months. Okay. At, at three months, is that okay? I mean, That's more like you. Okay, let's, take, let's not look at that match. Okay. This is, you're tired. You took rounds off a knee. You took round. Yo, wait rounds. a minute. Let's yeah. think about this. Think about how many people can actually say that. None. They've taken rounds Someone. off of the god knee. Who is now sitting in winners, winners on top eight. He had to go through you. Exactly. He had to I get was, past yeah. Austin Creed. The road to top eight for knee and for the championship went through Austin Creed. That's, you look, know, it's funny because we that, all of our characters, we all main king. We all it's main king. It's that holy trinity. It's an understanding of what happens. Right. But see, I know people are going to be looking for giant swings and the rolling death cradles. So I throw figure fours. But he ducks, <laughs> so I don't, know, I don't know how to win. You want to hit him baby. with a woo! Okay. Hop kick him. Right. You hop next, kick him. Next year Evo. Next year Evo, look out. Let's do 
much for me. Give me a full year. Tell him. Yo, you're going to be a monster in Tell these streets. Him. We are going to that time Tell chamber. Make, mold me. Mold, <laughs> mold me. me. Shape me into That's a better me. man. Make me into a specimen made for, for the... <laughs> And my YouTube channel is up, up, down, down. Go subscribe. <laughs> what a showsman here. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Recipe. You asked, we listened. Everybody wanted to see more Guilty Gear. We actually, I didn't realize we didn't even play when Rev 2 was out. Ready so you counter hit and you do either 6P or you do uh, quarter circle. You son of a bitch. You gonna one and done me? Oh, dude. I got a soul mirror that walk a flock of gun flame. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Oh, jeez. Get clapped. Call that shit the Michael Jackson. Don't leave walk a flock of gun flame. No. Oh. You got to start falling. Stop him. Wow. That's an answer there? That's crazy. I didn't know that worked. You oh give it one God. week, this guy becomes famous. He now is the whole duo. You see how it is. Anyway. Oh, my God. Anyway, I thought I would do a favor today for Tasty Jam, the whole duo by himself, <laughs> and teach him how to play Red Hood. But one thing you can already tell about a character like this is that he is going to have good setups because you know, mine's a low, you jump in and you're an overhead at the same time. That's really tough to block, right? Yep. Can I wake up attack with this? Oh, I'm oh, out wow, of there. Oh, to get out of there. Okay, here the we go. The bullets. He's going to jump, right? Okay, jump with me. Okay, oh. maybe the uppercut wasn't good. That's one thing I didn't see in the breakdown. I'm out of there. Right. Meter burn. Careful, he's got the... Oh, oh God. Meter burn batterings. <gasps> don't do that. He can super you. Oh, God, don't... Okay, you're just going to... Yeah, just keep him out. Keep him out. Chip him out. That's what you want. <gasps> I thought I thought he had <gasps> Oh my god. 